hello guys welcome back so in this video you will learn how to upload the image to the firebase storage okay when the user select any image from the phone gallery then we will upload that image to the storage and also you will learn how to get the download URL of that image in order to access that image in our app using the download URL so we upload the image to the storage and we get the download URL then the next step will be to save that download URL alongside with the user information to the Firestore database first of all we are going to create a unique name for our image in order to save it inside the storage so that the name do not replace with any other image in the future so for giving a unique name which will not be replaced with any image with the user will later upload or let's say update we will use time as a name because you know that time one once passed can never be recalled okay so we can simply use dead time dot now we will get the current time milliseconds since epoch dot to string and this will be basically as a unique name we will use as a file name okay then now we can create a reference to our storage if you go to the firebase console and click on storage okay this is our storage where we will save our image files now for saving it here we will create a separate folder and inside that folder we will place all our user images so let's create a reference we need to import the package first which is the firebase storage package so we can say firebase storage okay this one and we will import this as f storage which simply means firebase storage now we can say f storage which simply means firebase storage dot reference and let's give it name as storage reference F storage dot firebase storage dot instance dot reference and as I told you we will create a folder so we can say dot child and that folder name will be users okay users images or you can say or user pictures so anyways and then let me break this code in pieces so that we can see it easily and then inside that folder we will put our image that is we will save our image and as you know that for storing the image we are using a unique name which is basically a combination of time okay so we will simply say file name by this name inside the user images folder we want to save our image file then we will start the uploading using the app storage dot upload task this one is just a reference okay which we create that is this file name we want to put that file inside the user images okay so this is just a reference that is this will be the reference okay which is uh, stored inside the storage reference okay and now we start the uploading that is now we want to upload basically so we can say upload task upload task or you can say upload image task we want to save it at this reference okay so we can say storage reference dot put file and you already know that our file is basically by the name make sure to import this one okay dot io okay this one not the html one and our image file is basically whenever the user select any image from the gallery then that basically assigned to the image x file variable which is of type x file you can see that here okay i hope you have seen this in the previous video lectures okay so we can simply put that file so we can say image x file put the null check dot path so simple and so easy so in this way we basically put the 
put the image file put the image file at this reference which simply means inside the user images folder by this name file name okay and now once we put that file next thing is basically to get the uh, download URL using the task snapshot so for that purpose we can simply say firebase storage dot task snapshot task snapshot equals to wait for the upload task we want to wait for this task okay when the image is successfully uploaded okay at this reference inside the storage then we want to get the download URL okay after the successful uploading of the image to the storage so we can say upload image task dot when complete so when it get completed then we will simply get the download URL using the task snapshot so you can say task snapshot dot reference dot get download URL dot then we will give it name as URL or you can say URL image and then now we need to initialize a variable to which we will assign our download URL so we can say here that is string and let's give it name as download image basically it is called download URL okay so we will give it the proper name that is download URL of the image which we just uploaded okay which I mean which we implement basically we will test it of course so that URL we get as a result okay and we can assign that URL image to our download URL image and we have to wait for it so let me tell you again one more time what we did here we create a unique name in order to save our image file inside the storage so that it do not get replaced with any other image which is already there or let's say which the user will upload in the future okay so we use time as you know that time once call times once pass can never be recalled so time is basically a unique name okay so that time is basically as a name we use for our image file so first of all we create a reference that is inside the storage this folder will be created and inside that folder we will save our user image okay by this name which is file name which is a unique name so once we create that reference now at this reference okay which is inside the user images by the file name so inside this at this reference we put our file we put our file which the user select from the gallery we start uploading okay and then once it the uploading complete using the task snapshot we get the download URL okay by this name which is URL image so basically it returns us the download URL of that image which uploading has been completed successfully so that URL we assign to our variable which is download URL image because now we will also save this inside the Firestore database alongside with the user information